In today's vlog, we do a crazy science experiment. But before we get started, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hi guys, so today has been kind of blah. First of all, I am not feeling 100% and you probably can tell from my voice. I have been losing it on and off the past few days and I'm just not feeling very well. I have like this cough and this congested feeling and at night I feel completely miserable the entire night and then I start to feel a little bit better during the day but I'm just not feeling that well and so I just haven't had a lot of energy but I have a lot of things that I need to do. And I have to get this little munchkin dressed. It is in the afternoon and she is still wearing her pajamas. And your hair is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. No, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy but beautiful at the same time. Mm -mm. Should we get you dressed? No. Jordan has been begging for a snack all afternoon and I told her once I put Parker down, I would get her a snack. So do you think you get a snack now? Okay, and then we'll get you dressed? Okay, so here's a list. Snack, get dressed, do laundry, clean downstairs. And do my hair. Do Jordan's hair and then come up with something fun to do when the kids get home from school, right? She has her eyes on the honey buns up there. Is this what you wanted? All right. These honey buns are delicious. I do like them. You lucky duck. Okay, go you sit. Have, you can have one. I can have one too. Lots. Mommy probably shouldn't have one. Why? If mommy ate one honey bun, I'd have to eat a bunch more because I can't stop with just one honey bun. They're too good, so I might as well not start. It looks like you're hiding in here, sneaking a honey bun. <gasps> <laughs> Is it good? Okay, let's get some clothes on you. I'm all dressed. Okay, well we got Jordan all dressed. She looks super cute. And now we need to do this. We need to fix this. I'm flying. I'm sleeping. I'm flying. We've gotten hair done, we've gotten a crazy five-year-old dressed, and I've started the laundry, and now I have some more chores to do before the kids get home. Oh, and I cannot forget, a honey bun has been consumed. Someone added an accessory to her outfit, and it makes you look beautiful. So a few vlogs ago while we were filming in our kitchen, someone commented on our video that we have holes in our curtains. And I wanted to show you guys that it is totally true. We do, we have holes in our curtains. Ooh, there's one, there's a bunch right there. Look at this, guys. That is ridiculous. So many holes in our curtains and I've been meaning to replace them. I've gotten a little lazy with it, but they hadn't started appearing until just not that long ago. And it's because um, our house faces north, so our backyard and our back window gets all of the sun. And the sun can damage things so quickly. So I bought the same curtains for the front of the house at the exact same time, and look guys, these curtains are in perfectly good condition. There's not a single rip. They're doing great. Um, they're not gonna rip anytime soon because the sun does not hit them. So I am going to have to replace these curtains in the kitchen or I may bring those curtains into the back and get new curtains for the living room. I'm not sure yet, but 
that is why the curtains have holes in them because the sun has been hitting it and then recently the kids were like pulling on it and all of a sudden it was just ripping everywhere. Curtains had just had enough. So I am going to take these down so you guys don't have to look at my holy curtains anymore. And I figured why not take them down in dramatic fashion and cut them down instead of having to take down my entire um, curtain rod. So if I'm gonna get rid of them anyways, why not chop them down? All right, we are curtainless. It looks so much different now in here. Oh, I need to get curtains soon because I feel like I have no privacy now. Are you ready for dinner? Yes. Yes, have you been ready for the last hour? No ready. Yeah, she's so hungry, she cannot wait. Is your tummy grumbling? <laughs> what is she doing over there? That's your mouth. <laughs> Okay. That's my mouth. <laughs> You're scary. So dinner is over and all cleaned up and I think we came up with a good idea for our family activity tonight. And it is educational also. It is? It's kind of like a science project. We're on a hunt for supplies for our science project. We need soda, a lot of soda, a funnel, and some pop rocks. So we're on the hunt. Here are all the supplies that we need for our science experiment. All right, so it's science experiment time. Pop rocks and Diet Coke. Let's see what happens. Yeah. You guys ready to see what's gonna happen? Yeah. What do you think's gonna happen to this balloon? It's gonna go pop. Yeah, it's gonna be big. Blue scale. Okay, guys, you ready? Daddy, keep the balloon on. Oh, man. Wow. There's a whole, I put too many pop rocks in. Look at the balloon now. Wow. That's like, that's like Diet Coke and Mentos. The air comes out. But so you see how it happen, what happens there? Yeah. The, prop, the pop rocks go into the Coke and all the carbon dioxide comes shooting out and fills up this balloon. Look how big it's getting. Yeah, it's going to. Look how big it's getting. It's good. I put so many pop rocks in here. <laughs> Look at that. Is that cool? We're gonna do the same experiment times 1,000. We're gonna do this little experiment in the unfinished bathroom just in case something crazy happens. <laughs> All right, so we thought if a balloon will blow up with that, maybe the Wubble Bubble Ball will expand and get really big when we do Coke with a ton of Pop Rock. I see it. Crazy. I see it. Oh, no, it's coming out. <gasps> It's already, it's already going crazy on me. It's already blowing up, guys. Look at that. It has a hole. We put six two liter bottles of Diet Coke in the super wobble bubble ball so That's far. 12 liters. That's crazy. And we have so many more to go. We're gonna put all these pop rocks in the wobble bubble ball. Who's ready for the science experiment? Yay. Let's do this. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, we did pour it fast. Watch it guys, look at the bubbles. Whoa! It's no woo. It's getting bigger. 
Look how big it's getting. It's getting bigger on me. Let's see the bubbles on the side. They're popping out. Feel that. Feel that. Oh, it is. Those yeah. bubbles are popping out oh, of the bubble. Oh, my goodness. Get ready, everybody. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Baby. Baby. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, I can feel it getting bigger. Guys, look at all those bubbles. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Do you hear that? That is so crazy. Look at this is crazy. Oh my gosh. Do that again. Who can say wubble bubble ball? Wubble bubble ball! Wubble bubble bubble ball! Go in the pocket. No doubt, Pat. Don't pop. Go in the pocket. Turn off the backlight, Sarah. Throw Turn off the backlight. Throw it down. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Oh, you can pop it. Oh. Are you gonna let go? <laughs> you ready for this? Yeah, it's gonna come in the house. Should I throw it? Yes. Yeah. Who wants me to throw it? Me! Okay. Who's scared? One. Whoa. Whoa. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. So we were looking at the wubble bubble that's just sitting out here, and Stephen came up with the idea to shoot it with his bow and arrow. That's cool. Oh my gosh! It bounced right off. Bubble Bubble wins versus bow and arrow. One more shot. Okay. Oh my gosh, it shot clear across the yard. The Wubble Bubble still stands. My bow and arrow is no match for this Bubble Bubble. I am kind of glad that the Bubble Bubble Ball is still going strong and didn't pop because I have big plans for that thing. If it can withstand all of the stuff that we just did with it, I'm excited to do more things with it and actually fill it up with air and play around with it. Are you excited to play with the Wubble Bubble Ball some more? Yeah, I thought that was hilarious. We are going to drain it of the Diet Coke, get it all cleaned out, and see if we can use it again. Jelly Bean Sparkle said that Peyton won the Pringles Challenge. Beth thinks I won the Pringles Challenge. Hi, Elise. Hi, Christina. Hi, Riley Smith. Haley Nassar said that I won. Hi, Lexi Davis 12. Hi, Madison. Thanks for saying that I won. Hi, Gary Pug. Hi, New Veil. Our question for the day is, what other crazy science experiments should we do? Subscribe to our channel. Comment below. Give us a thumbs up. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.